Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Glad you made it today. In today's video, I wanna share with you some inex an inexpensive way to create a Mother's Day gift. You can do this as an individual, if you're a boss, if you have a team of moms on your team, you just wanna just show them a little appreciation. This is a cute and affordable way of doing it. Or if you're a basket maker, basket, a gift basket creator like I am, and we have a community of uh, basket makers and we like to share ideas, this is a good idea for one of your inexpensive gifts and people say, do you have anything for $20, $25? This is a cute way to do it. Okay, so the items I purchased are these makeup brush holders. They come in this color. And this one's more of a purple lavender. They also come in a blue, but I this is my the color scheme I'm dealing with. Okay, and then they have this. And this was so pretty, the packaging. This is a uh, Ioni, the crystal lip gloss. See that packaging, the butterflies. I saw one and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And I had to scour the, the rack to find the other ones. And there's several of them. Our Dollar Tree is just getting so much inventory. And it's like, it really is a, a treasure hunt now. So you know, like people say, like I went to Dollar Tree and got this stuff. Every Dollar Tree is different. Um, you know, if you give someone a gift and they like, oh, that came from Dollar Tree. Well, you know, your husband may not have been able to find all of this stuff at their Dollar Tree or, you know, your wife or whatever. And so, you know, we do this professionally. We shop professionally and we can really spot the good deals. This is a name brand. This is a Pons Perfect Color Complex uh, Beauty Cream. It's for normal to dry skin. Normal to dry, so that covers most people. Name brand, been around for years. Beautiful pink packaging. So I got some of that. And then I got this Manny Petty Sassy and Chic, the Manicure Pedicure Set. And in purple, got some in pink. And you know, I wanted stuff that could stand up. So, you know, we have to think about the different heights and um, widths and deal with, you know, the space we have. So, you know, that's an art form in itself. Then they have these pretty, these pretty mirrors. So cute, they're cute and feminine, something fun. And so I got it in pink. They have these in pink, they have them in black, and they have them in purple. And these are things like, when I had a team, when I worked in IT, and I worked in the telecommunications company, we, you know, we worked on a help desk and uh, an IT support desk. And sometimes we would have to work different hours. And um, so, you know, these are things I would do for my team, you know, and just pull together little cute little things. Okay, now to accessorize all of these items, you're gonna need this, just one, you can choose. If you can find this where it has different colors for a dollar, or these, these are uh, just one color. You know, this is 125. Get some loot bags from Dollar Tree. You get 25 in here. That's gonna save you. And then if you want, get a balloon. And that'll just add a little bit more height to it, more festivities to it. Okay, so let's see if I'm gonna come around there and put together so my plan will take one of these. I'm not gonna take the tag off until I actually know that's this is what I wanna do. Now I'll just put one right here. Now you can keep, now I might keep it up. Now I'm gonna bring this down so that the pawns can show. Let me just, let's just, let me just show you how cute it's gonna look, okay. And then just do this. Okay, so that's one. Let's do a 
purple. Now, this may work, this may not now. If you really need everything, especially those that are selling on the streets, you might need to put some tissue. Go like this. Go like this, bring that down. Go like that. Go like that. That's probably the best route to go. Okay. Go like that. Okay, so everything can show. That's cute. See, we're just working it out as we go along. Okay, so I don't have any more tissue, but you guys get the idea. Just put these four items together. And because this is pink up here, that's why I'm using the pink set. And do it like this, guys. Put some tissue paper in the bottom. Give it a little cushion. Put that. We can see the palms. So we can put everything. And just, you know, keep make it neat. And... Do that. Those are cute. So now we're going to finish them off by using our loop bags. We're going to put them in our loop bag and tie just a little string around there with a bow. Cut this string down a little bit. And take these corners back. Another one over here already done. And you know, you don't need to fuss with these. These aren't no $200, but I do believe in treating your $10, $20 customers as good as any other customers because they can turn out to be your $200 customers. You know, if you treat people right, you know, when you're first meeting someone, like they don't know you, but they're giving you a chance. They're, you know, they were, you were at least able to, to uh, stop them and for them to listen to you. So then once they come over to you, it's your, it's your responsibility to be pleasant, to explain things to them, to work with them. And you know, they may just drop, especially on the streets. To one, I'm gonna just uh, just give a little marketing. You know, uh, I don't know if you guys, like on the streets, if you meet a vendor on the street, the expectation is to get something good and valuable, but at a, a, a discounted rate. That's just how most street vendors are. I, when I was working at AT and T, I worked downtown in Midtown, and sometimes at and I was spending two and three hundred dollars. This is probably ten, fifteen years ago. 
two or three hundred dollars on Dooney Burke purses. I would, you know, get them from Home Shopping Network or go into the mall. And then, you know, after a while, you know, if I wanted a new one and I just didn't, you know, I owned a home. I had, you know, I was married, I owned a home. So, you know, I didn't want to just start keep, always kick out that money. But I love, I'm a handbag connoisseur. And I would go take the train on my lunch break and go down to Five Points. And Five Points, they had a lot of outdoor vendors. And these men would be out there with carts full of, um, designer handbags and they looked very authentic. I don't know. They look authentic. So I would go down there and I would get like a serious, beautiful Dooney Burke, Dooney Burke purse for like $27, you know? So, and, and they would do that for me if I was by myself, you know, if they had other vendors, other people around, you know, they couldn't really cut me that deal. So, you know, the expectation is to have good quality stuff be pleasant and, um, you know, and, um, you know, they want, you know, they don't want a whole lot of expensive stuff. But so this is a way you can have a part of your inventory. You can have some nice and expensive things. Let them test it out. Let them see how their recipient responds to it. And then they'll continue to do business with you. And then they'll turn around next time, you know, they'll spend $50. So treat your, your $10, $15, $20 customers just as good as you would someone paying $75 because one day they will be. And that's what happens to me. People come back to me because, you know, I was able to do a good job. And, um, you know, on the street, you don't want to be just shelling out one and two hundred dollars the first time you meet somebody most of the time i'm saying you know some people get into a pinch they're like dad yeah i gotta get my wife something gotta get my kids something for easter i better you know do this big you know so you know but you know but they probably seen you seen you a couple of days vending and then you know so they like no you know she's good so i just wanted to share that with you so this is a, you know, way of doing that. So these can be $20 and just put them, put them now. These loot bags won't cover the entire, the entire thing, but most of it, but it's cute. I like, you know, it has a little collar. See that? Then I have some other bags I got from Amazon. And they, you just close it around the neck of the, of the, uh, mirror. You know, it's still, you're just still having the little collar. Or use your, your cello wrap and cover the whole thing up. But I like it like this. This keeps everything stable. And, uh, tape it back. Tape those ends back. And that's good. Now, if you need to add a little bit more wow to it, because people do are drawn to, you know, you have six, seven of these at this height that will draw attention. That's pretty. Let me come on over here. Stick your balloons in there. And you're good. And this is a good way of, you know, if you're just testing the waters out to see if you can sell gift baskets. You know, this is could be this is just one of your inexpensive items. Okay. So that didn't take a lot. It's cute. I'll be happy to get this. So we have something for our lips. Lotion for our face and hands and body, nail care, and a mirror. These are things as an employee. I would I love to get things like this because you know we could keep it at our desk. Because you just never know. You need a nail file sometimes. You need your nail brush at work. You know, you need some lip gloss, some lotion, and a mirror in your desk. So you know, you can tell that hey, if you got some co-workers. Like, especially when I go, like, to, like, State Farm or go to some of these small offices. I'm like, you know, they can keep these. 
they can keep these in their desk. And there's also room if you want to just, um, there's room for, I, they, get, put some tissue in here, like those individual, individual packages of tissue. You might be able to squeeze that in there. And you might be able to like put, you know, a little candy or something in there. You know, you might even, I think that's, that's a good idea. Maybe at the bottom, so I could put some chocolates, put some hard candy or whatever candy, you know, you can and that's it. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to share that idea with you, and I appreciate you stopping by. I hope this, this gives you some inspiration. So if you like my vibe, hit subscribe, join the tribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified the next time I upload any new content. You won't have to search for me. When I post, I post normally once a week. You know, it should show up in your feed and you can just see what's going on around here. We just have a lot of fun, all right? Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye, Mom.